We're in Microsoft Word 2016, and let's take a look at how to create a manual table of contents. Now, I've already done another video on, on automatic table of contents creation, but this time we're going to do a manual one because sometimes you want to create the table of contents as you go. So let's go to the References tab at the top and choose Table of Contents. We hit the drop down, and let's choose the Manual Table of Contents. Now you can also do a search for more table of contents at office.com as well, and you can download those and then they'll show up in this section. Let's go ahead and choose manual. And when we do that, we see the table of contents appears. And when we click inside the box, we see that there's update table and that there are other options we can go to as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the table of contents and edit this first chapter title and we'll just call it chapter one and then we'll go to the second one and we'll call it chapter two now let's go to our subtitles and from here we can just call it sub one and sub two of course yours will be different but you notice when we click on this we have these three little dots here and the three little dots allows us to move these different subheadings or headings to different locations if we want. Let's go ahead and undo that one. And we can choose this other one. Maybe we'll want to put it above. We can also highlight the different chapters or subs and we can change the font. So if we go to the Home tab at the top, hit the drop down, we can choose a different font and we can choose a different size. We can also choose bold, italic, etc. And if we don't like it, we can just click undo. Now on the right hand side, we see the page numbers. So as we find out where our different headings and subheadings are, we can go ahead and change the page numbers to reflect those particular numbers. So let's say that chapter one is on page one, but chapter two is on page three. And then we can go in and update the various different numbers until we get what we want. Now another nice thing is we can click on these three dots at the top left and we can move the table of contents to a new location simply by holding down the left button and dragging it down to another location. So let's go ahead and drag it down and go down to page two and we'll drop it onto page two. And there we go. If we want an updated table, we can click on the update table. But the problem is on a manual table of contents, there is no way to update it. You only can update it if this is going to be an automatic table of contents. And if we decide we want to remove our table of contents, just click the, the drop down at the top and choose remove table of contents and it all goes away. Let's undo that. Another option we have is we can copy table of contents. So you don't, don't want to have to recreate everything over and over. You can copy a couple of lines and you can hit enter and paste them. And then you can just update the chapter numbers. So this is now going to be chapter three and chapter four, etc. If you want to delete anything, you can just highlight whatever it is that you want to get rid of. And you can just hit the backspace key and then that goes away. So we'll just go ahead and delete the page number that goes with it as well as the little dots there. And we hit backspace and it brings it right up to the top. So that's how you create and edit a manual table of contents in Microsoft Word 2016.